Right, after we're doing a little bit more mining, look what I found around uh, Alpha Bopiculi. Once again, once again, we need to exchange valuable tangibles. Isn't this fun? Now, what can we do for you? So here we are, the Mel Norme. Gotta love the Mel Norme. Would you like to sell, Captain? We got some data. One hundred sixty-three units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you three hundred twenty-six credits. Pretty good amount, so we can get two new technologies, which is pretty what cool. items would you like to buy today? So let's buy them now. The technology we are now offering includes blueprints which show how to increase your lander's cargo space to double its present volume. That's pretty good, I'll get that. I hope this makes your resource gathering more cost effective, Captain. The technology we are now offering includes blueprints which show how to add double capacity fuel tanks. Well, that could be pretty useful to save space on our uh, flagship, so that's definitely a good thing. The tanks will make more module slots available on your flagship, which you can fill with other, more useful equipment. The technology we are now offering includes plans for improving the rate of fire on your lander's stun ray bolt beamer gun. I like how his teeth don't move at all, and, uh, but his lips do, it's a bit weird. Like to buy. But um, I guess we could buy some fuel, we could use a little bit of fuel, we've got a few credits left, so uh, let's just fill our tanks. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. To hold that much fuel. How much fuel so if you, if you choose the wrong you, uh, number of fuel then he'll just say he doesn't have enough space. So just fill my fuel tanks. And we've vessel. got 160 fuel he once again, which is awesome. So the Melnorm are really good for buying fuel. Um, if you're just out and about and you luckily find them, like I have just done now. Uh, so I'm going to keep exploring. We just met the Melnorm, we got some new technology, some pretty useful ones like the double capacity fuel tanks. Sounds pretty cool. And the double capacity storage on the landers. So I'll be right back when I'm starting exploring again. So, uh, as you can see, my lovely storage bays are all full, got lovely five storage bays all full, or even four, sorry, uh, four storage bays all full, because I got rid of one of them for the dynamos. So I'm navigating, going autopilot, and we're going to head back to Earth now. Like the oars, they were pretty nice guys, they didn't attack us, and those ships look pretty cool actually, so I definitely want to get some of those. Um, so once we get back, we should have some more stuff going. Through hyperspace. Not too far away, um, the Vulpaculi constellation. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Didn't find anything too amazing there. But, um, you know. So I'm going to go back there, since I didn't actually explore all of the planets. I only got um, so far before my uh, storage base got all the way full up. So I'm definitely going to go back to the... Uh, Alpha, um, the Vulpaculi constellations uh, to um, you know go mine some more. But here we are back at Sol, back at the Earth. Let's uh, go and ask old Commander Hayes what's been happening recently. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. Before we go on, I have something important to tell you. Captain, a delegation of Spathy has just arrived here under orders from their High Council to form an alliance and assist you against the hierarchy. They have provided fabricator blueprint data for their eluder spacecraft and promise a steady supply of captains for as many ships as we build. Excellent work, Captain. Also, we have been invaded by an alien race calling themselves the Oars. Though so far, the invasion is a friendly one. The fish-like creatures have been stomping around the base in their robotic walking exoskeletons, which look like combat vac suits, if you ask me. Based on the summary reports I've seen on their Nemesis ship design, I have but a single comment. 
I like it. I'd say we have quite a nasty little surprise in store for the Urquan the next time you tangle with them. Nice, so both the Spathy and yours are on our side now. We can build their ships and we drop off all our minerals now, but that is really good. Oh god, we got a lot of our use. Wow, you really hit the mother load this time. Yeah, so really really cool. We can now uh, start building some new ships so we can build some ores and some spathy ships. We're definitely 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 gonna want to get some of those. First of all, we'll just stock up on some fuel since we've got so many RUs we might as well use them up. And we're out of biological as well so you know, we might as well. Uh, could do with a few more landers I guess maybe. And an extra uh, fusion bolt wouldn't help. Fusion bolt gun, whatever it's called. What was it called? Fusion blast. That's it. Um, yeah, another dynamo wouldn't hurt. Still another 4,000 RU, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, we got lots of dynamos, lots of good firepower. And I'm just going to put down the fuel because all the way down to 10. Because I've just remembered that, of course, we've just bought the from the Mel Normandy, the new high efficiency fuel tanks. Um, and I can't remember, I think they're, I, I guess they're double in fuel. So I think we can hold 50 with one fuel tank, and I'm guessing that we hold 100, maybe 150 with one of the um, new double capacity fuel tanks, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. So I'm just gonna move that fuel, uh, those crew pods across, and look at that, they look really cool actually. They look, uh, they look really good. So let's stock up on fuel, see how much they can hold. So I'm going to guess overall now our ship can hold either 210 or 310, but we're just going to have to see. Also want to save um, a good amount of money to buy some new uh, Spathy ships and also all ships. Definitely want to test them out at some point, find a good time to do that. Um, let's just fill up the fuel, how are we doing? So, is it 210 or is it, yeah, 210, that's where it stops. That's a cool amount though, good amount of um, of things. I'm going to get rid of some landers because I definitely want a good amount of money to start getting some cool ships. Uh, I can't remember how much Spathy ships are, I believe they are from the Super Melee, they're 18 points, I'm going to guess they're 1800. And I can't remember the, the old ships because I haven't actually played them yet. I played with the Spathy ships, I practiced them quite a lot, um, so I could use Friffo better. And they're 18 points, the Earth one's 11, so I guess it corresponds to their price, so there we go, 11. Wars Nemesis are 2,300. Spathy Luda definitely want some of those. So 1,800 for Spathy Luda, 30 crew. So that's one of the reasons that I think Spathy are really good. They're a very defensive ship, very quick, can get out of the way of um, shots. And I'm also going to get rid of this Earthen Cruiser since I'm not really using it that much. It's not really got that good firepower. The nuke can eat and miss quite easily sometimes, and it's only got 18 crew and a bit slow. But this Wars Nemesis definitely seems cool. It's only got 16 crew, but if it's 2300 um, pounds then it's got to be worth it's got to be really good hopefully um, unless the ores are just ripping us off which you know they could be doing but you know we'll just have to see they look like good ships though they look like they're pretty powerful and they're called the nemesis as well which is good but I'm gonna go back out and start exploring um, some other stuff now we've been to the Volculi constellation um, so now we can uh, go down to the Pekunk find their home world uh, at some point, but I really want to check out this disappearing star. Um, that sounds like something that uh, is pretty cool. Uh, the Sprathy were talking about it. So we definitely want to go and check out uh, that disappearing star. Um, sounds like something pretty strange is happening back up there. So let's travel into hyperspace and um, go and check it out. So it's quite far away, as you can see. It's going to take a 50 fuel units to get there. Um, yeah, that's going to be very expensive, but hopefully there is something um, cool up there. We haven't really explored too far out, except for the, like, I think there's like the Spathy is the furthest we've been out so far. So let's just start exploring a little bit more, find some cool stuff. Hopefully there's a new race, new species that we can uh, discover. The Umgar are close by, that disappearing star as well. So the Umgar are involved in lots of things right now. The um, Ilrath hoax thing, which a lot of people have been talking about now and um, this disappearing star which is very close to Umgar space apparently so maybe they have something to do with that might be another one of their pranks I don't know hopefully not um, so yeah I'm gonna skip forward to when we're close to those stars because it's a very long way and I'll be right back
And here we go, we're getting close now to the Sakini and the whatever it's called constellation, the Chantrasal or something. Um, so, here we go. It is September the 6th right now, September the coming to September the 7th, and it said the 17th to the 20th of, um, well, 17th and then for three days. Oh, there's a ship coming. Is that going to be, is that going to be Ungar? I'm going to save the game quickly. Okay, let's see who this is. I'm moving very quickly. It's an enemy. And it is... Oh, it's another one of these things. Brilliant. We bring greetings from a grand race species. Really? Really? Oh. Well, uh... What should we just say? I know they're just going to attack us again. Well, they probably will do. This We are on a peaceful mission of exploration. Priority override. Yeah, there we are. There's the uh, Slylandra we all love. Great target into component materials. Okay. So the Slylandra probe again. Um, so I didn't really talk through its um, weapons. I will this time because I've played with it now. It's a pretty good ship actually when you play with it. It's a very strange controls. Um, but basically, I'm going to go with a. Uh, Snellopy because it's quick and might be able to dodge some of these weapons. It's being very annoying that it keeps kind of dodging it. Um, it always moves, unlike other ships, which you kind of like thrust um, and you can kind of like go forwards with it and backwards and stuff. The Slylandro is always moving and holding down forwards turns it around. Um, and it's got a very quick turning speed and it's very quick as you can see. Um, its weapon is a lightning bolt as you can see. And it's also not recharging its batteries, it's actually got a, a way to recharge its battery which is unique to that ship. Um, you actually have to crash into an asteroid and use your secondary weapon to like eat the asteroid and get um, like minerals and energy from that asteroid, I don't really know how it works. But, uh, it is a very good ship. It's worth 17 points in the melee, um, so it is a pretty powerful ship for early game I thought. Um, one thing that surprised me was the Ilrath is only worth 10 points, and it seems like a pretty powerful ship. And we haven't really seen the full, um, oh, that wasn't very good. We haven't really seen the full, um, firepower of the Ilrath yet, we haven't actually, um, seen the cloaking device in action, because remember that Ilrath said that his cloaking device was dead, or, you know, destroyed or something happened to it, and a lot of his crew were dead anyway, and it was still a reasonably powerful ship, had that flamethrower, but, um, old Fifo was too quick. But here we go, that Slylandro's one... Um, missile away from being killed. I've lost probably about nine crew, I think, and I'm getting very close. You need to get very close because it keeps turning away from me. Might go in for a bit of a suicide attack. Don't know if I will, though. I would say that because of the short range of the missiles, he probably has a better weapon than me in this situation, but I just like having the extra speed and also the homing weapon. It's been a pretty long battle so far. I'm going to go straight in, see if I can get a hit on him. And again, just couldn't get a hit, I just need to get one hit, there we go. And Snellope wins. Awesome. Another 550 RU, it's always useful, but Slylandro, we need to, you know, where the hell are these guys coming from? Are they just, just random probes or is someone behind these guys? I don't know. But uh, one week to go on the uh, Nova Mace. Uh, Everyone's just waiting for something to happen near these constellations, somewhere in this area. I don't know if I'm going if I'm anywhere near it, or maybe the Spathy were just wrong and they mis misjudged where it was. But I'm gonna i I'm just gonna go by their word. Three days to go. Hopefully there's something. And there's another ship. Uh there's another ship coming. And it's getting a lot slower though, so it might be something different this time. It looks like it's going slower. I'm gonna save the game. Might be Omgar, might be something else. Oh god, what the hell's that? There's something appeared. Okay, hang on, what's going on? Okay, so there's a person here. Oh my god, they look like UFOs. Who are these guys? Hello, my little one. I am so pleased to see you. You have done well for yourself. It is gratifying. Okay. Uh. Arrow. You're the Arrow? It sounds if you know me. Myself. Of course you don't know me. You are from Unservault, not Earth. We are, however, how shall I say, related. It has been many of your years since I have been to our planet Earth. We are known among your kind by many names, some of them flattering, some of them not. 
The one we use most often was given to us by the children of the Celts. A wonderful culture. They called us the Arilu. The Arilu Lalile. More recently, we were part of the Alliance of Three Stars, along with your kind, until we decided to return to our own, oh, how would you say, reality, when it became clear that your people would be safe enough under the Urquan Slave Shield. Oh, these guys sound strange. So they've been to Earth before, apparently. So maybe they helped with the Alliance? I don't know. And also, this song is pretty cool with as well. I like this song. weapons, blood, and bones? No. Too many shipmates were forcibly discorporated in the last conflict. Our cooperation is not necessary. You are the focus. However, knowledge transcends reality parameters, and this we can share with you. An example? To discover the nature of the red probes, see creatures who inhabit a world with no surface. You've got to go to a world where people... Okay, so that's where the, the probe's coming from. From where? See creatures who have no surface. These guys? Doesn't look like they have any surface in their ship. What the hell's going on in their ship? At many times. This place is an easy place. One of the ten easy places. At different times, we explore different easy places. That is our way. Oh, I can see from the look in your eyes that I have confused you. I am silly. Please disregard my words. These people are always as confusing as yours, but they, again, they seem friendly, but they don't want to fight for us this time. We seek to trap Nung, but they dart and leave. No. You cannot trap Nung. Do not even try. I do not think you can even touch them. You are not quite solid enough. Do you mean I'm not quite so Oh, my. these guys are a bit... I don't know if I like these guys or not. Um, I like their song. I don't know what's going on their ship. They've got some sort of strange thing going on, unless that's their ship there that they're just sitting on. I don't know. These things we talk about, they are unimportant to you. They are as dreams. Our words should address your universe, I've... not ours. Okay, I think we need to just get back on to track. Uh, what exactly is your connection with Earth and you humans? are curious. That is a promising quality. How can I describe our relation to humans? Never doubt our motives, Captain. Your well-being is a paramount concern to every army. Surely you know that it was the day after humanity joined the Alliance of Three Stars that we appeared in the open for the first time. This was no coincidence. We wanted to protect you. Once we saw that you were, well, safe, we decided to tend to other business for a short while. Believe me, Captain, we have known each other for a very long time. You might even say that we knew the first Right. So, I could say I have nothing else to say, so they just... Farewell, child. I don't know if they're useless or they might have... They seem like people who may have a good part in the story, I'm not sure. But something has opened up over here which I'm more interested in. It's like a massive white thing that's appeared and it's green! Where the hell am I? What the hell's happened? Qu quasi space. Oh, this music's good though. Oh, where the hell am I though? And the oh it's F oh it's the oh god where the hell am I how am I gonna get out of this right there's portals or places to go no stars unknown all of them are unknown right and there's one right in the top right as well so all of these go to some random place they have no it's a very small. It's very small though, isn't it? It's like it's very compact. There's like nothing past like you know. It's, it's all in a very small area. I'm gonna save the game though. I think I'm gonna have to guess where each of these go. 